good morning. Uh, I'm here to take you through a pyjama workout. So whether you've just got up or just not got dressed today, you are welcome to join me for some movement in your pyjamas. Or if it's in the middle of the day, you don't have to get changed. Just wear whatever you're wearing. We're not going to get hot and sweaty. It's just about gentle movement to kind of wake you up and make you feel good. So nursing high intensity and no jumping, so you're welcome not to put a bra on for this. Okay, we're gonna warm up and then we're gonna do a couple of rounds of some movements that are gonna get the blood flow in and set you up for the day. I am actually gonna get changed out of these just so you can see what I'm doing a bit clearer, but feel free to keep on whatever you've got or not got on. So if you've worked out with me before, you know that you can put your own tunes on now as something to listen to as we do the workout. It's going to be 20 minutes, it's going to be really gentle and it's going to set you up for the day. So let's get moving. Starting with some hip circles, so feet a bit further than hip distance apart, hands on your hips and just make a nice big circle with those hips. Should feel good to loosen things up. All of the exercises today, swap sides, swap directions, all the exercises today are going to be done standing up, which if you're in between sleeping and make some big arm circles now, if you're in between sleeping and maybe sitting at your desk all day, I think it's good that we do this, take this time standing, um, going between those two positions. You might not opposite direction of your arms. You might not be having your usual routine of getting up, walking to the station or walking to the bus or walking all the way to work. And so doing this, standing up separates that kind of sleep work, gives you a bit of movement. Okay, hip openers. Take your knee up and to the side. Knee up forwards and out to the side, alternating each side. It's all good mobility stuff that you could do at any time of the day. You could do it before you go for a run. Do a condensed version of this. And then we'll go the other way. So out and in, out and in. Stand it nice and tall. Keep that core strong. If you do need to hold onto a wall, you can do. <sighs> okay, toe taps. Just out, take that leg out to the side. Tapping the foot down to the floor, and opposite side. Okay, feet planted, a bit further than hip distance apart, and reaching up, alternating your side. A bit of a nice stretch for the side body. Up nice and high, over your head. Stand up tall, taking a slow a step back and touching that calf, that heel down to the floor, which should give you a little gentle stretch in the calf on the back of the lower leg. So you can make your step back as big or as small as you need it to be. Okay, back to the front, feet planted again, similar position. I'm just going to reach over little chest, a uh, little stretch around the back of your shoulders maybe, taking a arm across your chest, reaching out in front. I can hear things clicking, clicking on me. Okay, shoulders, bringing them up and in front of you, making shoulder circles forwards and backwards. Bring them up to your ears and let them go. Up to your ears and let them go. And that kind of release position is where we want them to be. You can do this at your desk during the day. Help release that tension. Okay, bend your head to one side. 
Then the other. Oh, I can hear things cracking, crunching as I do this. Lovely. Okay, we're ready to get going. Have a slip of my tea. And we're good to go. We're going to do four exercises. We're going to have 30 seconds of the exercise, then 15 seconds rest. Nice and easy. Go at your own pace or just sit out the exercise if you need to. Do what you need to do today. First one's going to be knee raises, so hold on if you need to. We're going to bring that knee up to about hip high, but wherever you get to today is fine, and then alternating. We're going to aim to stand up nice and tall, strength, pull that core in all the way around. Think about pulling that belly button towards your spine. This is the position that we want to try and aim for for most of this uh, routine, okay? So feel it now, nice and tall chest up, no hunching, there we go, shoulders back and brace those abs like somebody's about to punch you in the stomach, uh, yeah, how you would brace then, we're ready, ready, steady, go, so knee raises up to hip height and swapping over, nice tall posture, go at your own pace, push that toe up to the sky, instead of down at the ground, just to activate. And use those abs to pull that leg up, yeah? Think about the movement, the strength coming from the core, pulling the leg up. Okay, good, nice 15 second rest now. We're gonna go into good mornings in a second. Appropriate, hey? Standing, feet firmly planted, slight bend in the knees, and then we're gonna keep a nice straight back as we learn Bend forwards and back up, go. So back straight, you can put your hands back there, just to check. And the movement is coming from the hip. Yeah. And squeeze those bum muscles as you come up. And if you don't come all the way down to, to here, don't worry about it, go to wherever you need. If you can feel the movement happening, that is good enough. Next, we're gonna go, we're gonna stand, kick back. So again, hold the wall. Hold the wall this time round anyway. Next time come round, you might wanna make it more challenging. You're gonna bring your knee slightly forwards, off we go, and then kick him back. So trying to keep that knee. We're gonna do five and then swap over. Okay, other leg. As though, imagine that you're running that running motion, that nice leg going behind you. Trying to keep swap. Trying to keep that knee kind of fixed at 90 degrees. Keep your posture nice and tall. And last one's the other side. Lovely. Okay, we're going for some calf raises now. So again, nice tall posture. You're gonna get sick of me saying that, but you need to remind in, I need to remind in to pull those abs in nice strong core and we're going to calf so lifting up onto the front of your feet yeah heels lifting off the ground and back down again everything else staying pretty pretty still just those feet back to the heels lifting off the ground you can hold on if you need to for this for that extra bit of balance four more seconds there we go, we get a little bigger rest now. Grab your tea, or your coffee, or your water. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit more awake. So, even if your balance is good, I would recommend holding onto the wall for some of these, certainly the first time round, because if you're still waking up, your coordination, your balance, not gonna be firing on all cylinders, so, do we need to do, hold on, it's better to hold on and keep that position nice and strong than to kind of wobble through the first round. We're gonna do four different exercises now. And we're gonna start with some slow squats. So feet planted and going down, four, and back up. Are you ready, go. So keeping that chest up and the bum going back. We're aiming to keep the knees sort of by that 
Go as low as you need to go. If it goes to there, that is fine. Okay, as though you're sitting on a seat and you're not sure if someone's put a whoopee cushion there or not, so you're going down tentatively. Lovely. Next one is a low impact star jump. We're just going to waken you up, make you feel great. Yeah? Okay, so you're going to do a star jump but without taking one foot off the floor. Go and swap sides. So you're coming up on that toe or you can stay with your heel planted too. Just making a big movement with all of your body, taking up some space, saying, here I am. Three seconds. There we go. Hopefully that felt good. Mentally. So, front rows, we'll grab yourself a cushion. We're going to stand nice and tall. Suck that core in. And it's just the arms coming up. Yeah? So it doesn't have to be a heavy weight. Just something to cue that movement. Something to concentrate on. And if you concentrate on your core, on your abs, and pulling them nice and tight, you can feel them probably walk, working a little bit to stabilise you as that small weight changes. Feel free to use a big weight if you're feeling up for that today. But a small one is fine. Okay. Feet planted. We're going to do an alternating squat with feet planted. Uh, alternating lunge, side lunge, with feet planted. Okay, so come over one foot, up, and then over the other side. Yeah. So bend in that knee, but the bum goes back. So the knee doesn't creep forward. And if it's just a half movement, then that's fine. Go as low as you want, or stay as high as you want. Swap in size, you should feel the bum waking up a little bit. Great, you have a bigger move, bigger rest now. So, if you're gonna be sitting on your bum all day at your desk, it's nice now to get it doing something, get involved in these movements, before we kind of switch it off for the rest of the day. Or if you've just finished work and you want to do something to make you feel a little bit more, shake the day off, shake that working day off, then it's good for that too and wake that bum up. So we're going to do all of that through again and then probably you have some more coffee, another tea. Okay, we're going back to the knee raises. So hold on if you want, stand nice and tall, here we go. And swapping sides. If you're feeling good, go hands free. You'll feel it in your ankle, trying to stabilise you. And your core will be working a bit harder. But hold on to if that's what you want to do. And if you have real problems with your balance, you could do this, carry on, with your back flat against the floor. Remember it's those abs, doing that movement, moving the legs up, doing the work. Okay, good mornings. So if you had a broom handle or a stick, you could put it down your back and it should touch your, here we go, should be able to keep contact with your back of your head and your bum. That's the sort of uh, position we want your upper body to hold. So bending forwards from the hip, back stays as it is, and using those bum muscles to pull you back up. You can move your hands to there if you like, but I like to check in, keeping them at the back there, to check in that the, that the back's staying nice and straight. Okay, standing kickbacks. So again, holding onto the wall if you need to. We just bring our knee a little bit forwards, and then kicking back. You might know this one from doing it on all fours. Swap over. It's the same sort of movement from the hip and in the bum, but we're just doing it standing. 
and swap over. So a good movement for runners to concentrate on, trying to keep that, that foot coming straight back rather than going out to the side. Okay, rest again. And calf raises. So nice and tall. Get your abs engaged. We're going to go up on the front half of our feet, up on the balls, and back down again. Holding on if you need to. Feel my, hear my ankles clicking. They're waking up. They're saying do your mobility work a bit more often. 10 more seconds. If you need to stop sooner, don't worry. It's quite intense on the calf sometimes. There we go. So big rest and then we've got a last four. So remember we're starting with our slow squat. So feet go wider. Try and keep those knees like that. Try and keep them from moving in. They'll want to come in towards each other. Keep them away from each other. And the bum goes back. Chest stays up. My squats aren't the best, but I'm working on it. You don't have to be perfect. Just turn up, do some movement. Here we go. Knees stay planted where they are, over the ankles, bum goes back. And however far down you wanna go is fine. If you just wanna wake that bum up a little bit, or if you really wanna shake it out of bed, and if you're struggling, you could sit back on the chair and back up again. Yeah, and then you can work to doing it over the chair, but not quite sitting down. That might give you the confidence to go a little bit lower than you usually do. So, low impact star jump. It's one of my favorites. So remember, you can move up onto into a bit of a calf lift, or you can stay Heel on the ground. Here I am, world. This is a good uh, social distancing one. Keep away. Keep away from me. Five more seconds. So you might have feel your heart rate going up a bit by now. Breathing a little bit deeper, but hopefully you still feel okay. We're going for energising, not energy depleting. Front raise with your cushion. Here we go. I was talking too much there. Luckily the timer's reminding me. So nice and tall. Keep those abs strong. So the cushion goes up with the arm extended, the whole movement. Just the shoulder moving. Keep those abs strong, belly button pulling in towards your spine. And last one, there we go. And our very last movement. Feet planted, wider than hip distance. And you go down into a lunge, alternating one side to the other, as low or as high as you need. Here we go. Bum goes back. Aim for that knee not to creep forward. Coming up to centre before going down again. Fifteen seconds. Last five seconds. And there you are, there you have it. So we're going to cool down a bit, loosen everything up once more, make some big hip circles, and opposite way. Hopefully that's lifted your mood a little bit, maybe made you a bit more confident to start the day, made your body feel good, taking that step back. Touching that heel down to the ground. Breathe.
three fist of stretches through your calves and then hold it and swap over good let's stretch out your chest so this is one that ideally you do a couple of times a day if you are working at your desk or your kitchen table or a pile of boxes right now hands together and take them away from your body so a nice stretch around your chest Let's do another variation of this. So if you've got a wall, hold on to it loosely and then stand up tall and just turn your body slightly away from it. Hopefully that feels nice. And try and relax your shoulder blades, take them down, down away from your head. And swap over. Think about those shoulder blades, take them down. Good, and let's stretch out, transfer thighs, stretch out quads. And the other way. Make some nice circles with your ankles. I might hear mine clicking a little bit. And opposite way. Keep that toe touching the ground. Just imagine making a circle. Swap sides. Imagine making drawing a circle with your heel while that toe keeps contact with the ground. And opposite way. Lovely, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the day um, and I hope you're feeling a bit better for doing that. Subscribe and there might be some more videos popping up and uh, give me a thumbs up and then I'll know that you want me to do some more. See ya!